Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different as I'm going to be talking more about myself. Um, some of my close friends and family, they may, they already know, but I also wanted to let my subscribers know as well kind of what's been going on for the month of March and why I haven't been posting any videos or anything like that. Um, so I have a condition or an autoimmune disease called multiple sclerosis. I've been diagnosed with it since I was 16. And um, recently I went through a, um, a flare up or a relapse in where my doctors su uh, suggest, I think that's the right word, that I have a new lesion in my spine. And um, for those of you who don't know, um, MS is an autoimmune disease where basically my body confuses bad cells with good cells. So my body is basically attacking itself and it creates lesions or dead spots in my brain and spinal cord. And so since I have a new lesion, I was having a new set of symptoms kind of coming up. I was having a lot of numbness and um, pain in my legs. And then um, things were kind of progressively getting a little bit worse and worse. And so I um, was on a course of steroids for um, a few days and then the there were more symptoms coming up. I was having um, more brain fog, confusion, vertigo, and um, some vision problems as well. And so I was actually admitted to the hospital for three days um, for treatment. Um, since then, I have been slowly coming off of the steroids and slowly returning to somewhat of a new normal, um, which is why I haven't been able to post any videos or anything. And um, so I just wanted to kind of come on here and share my experience with you guys. Um, Thankfully, my dogs have been wonderful. My poor um, cattle dog, who is extremely high energy, has been driving me a little stir crazy, but that's just who he is. He needs his outlets. Um, but for the most part, they have been phenomenal. I've been doing a lot of enrichment with them, um, and they have been just very supportive and not super, super demanding and allowing me to recover. But I really just wanted to kind of make this video so that you guys, I can invite you in on this journey. I think a lot of um, my content might um, not fully change, but I want to gear my, um, my training more towards a accommodating lifestyle. So the past week i've been trying to slowly get back into the normal of life as i'm weaning off of the steroids and trying to get back into normal life and i have been testing out a few things here and there trying to get back into training or at least figuring out a way for whatever my new normal is whatever however long it takes me to find or get back to my old normal um I am really just experimenting and I would love to take you guys on this journey with me. And so I really want to kind of make more videos about how I've been managing this relapse and having four dogs at the same time. And even if you're someone who is, let's say you have a full-time job, you have an unexpected work or a, um, a varied work schedule. So it's not the same every day. Good job, ding. Um, I want to, or even if you do have a disability like multiple sclerosis or any, any other disability out there, um, I want to be able to help as many people as possible in navigating a way to find a way that works best for you and how to train and have the best relationship with your dog and have the best behavior you can have out of your dog. Um, it's been really, really eye-opening, um, just watching my dogs, how they interact with me, you know, coming home from the hospital. Um, my cattle dog was like, what the, you're so fragile. I don't even want to come close to you. And then, um, ding. Thank you. 
didn't know I needed that, but thank you. Um, and then Ding was like right by my side, my buddy, and she has been definitely my cuddle bug um, while I've been recovering this full time. And so it's been interesting to learn from them as well as learn from this whole experience. And so I kind of want to bring you guys on that journey as well. Um, the good news is that everything is kind of on the up and up. Um, I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. Nothing is, nothing has been the same since before this relapse. Like it's all been, my whole life has been completely different. I'm not going to lie. The month of March is a complete fog for me for the most part. I know everything that happened, but it feels like it all happened within a week, maybe even a day. Um, but we're trying to figure out a new normal. And I would love to bring you guys on that journey with me. So if I'm posting a lot of enrichment ideas or just um, easier things that you can do with your dogs instead of more behavioral focused, um, that would be why. Or if my posting is a little bit inconsistent while I am changing medications and still recovering through all of that, this is why. Um, I'm going to do my best to be as consistent as possible in giving you guys content. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy kind of taking a peek into my, my new life with me and figuring out how to navigate owning men, like, this many dogs. And I still want to figure out a way to meet all of their needs as well. So like I know my high energy breed needs more work than say, uh, my lab or my German shepherd who just wants to nap with me all day. So as I'm figuring this out, I'm going to keep you guys in the loop with how I'm doing, how the dogs are doing, what isn't working out and what is working out. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I'm doing much better. Um, I still have a lot of vertigo and um, fatigue. So I've been going a lot today, so if I seem a little tired, that's why. And so I'm really just trying to do my best and do what I can to put out content and kind of live my new life. I'm okay, baby girl. Thank you. And so, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I was on high dose of steroids. Um, for I believe eight days. And so my doctors want me to slowly wean off of that, hopefully to um, mitigate some of the withdrawals. So I've been doing lots of reading, lots of resting. And yeah, I am, before I was admitted into the hospital, I was walking with a, um, a cane or a walking stick, but I seem to be doing much better on that front. I'm still having, like I said, a lot of vertigo, um, pain and, um, tingling in my, mostly my right leg, but also my, um, uh, left leg every now and again, especially if I overdo it. Um, I've been having some tremors in my hands, um, but I've been told that's because of the steroids. At least I'm hoping that's because of the steroids. And so within the next couple of weeks, I'll be fully off of those, thankfully, and then hopefully within the next week or so, I'll be starting a new medication, a new um, new medication to me and a um, potentially stronger medication. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it's definitely one that is more um, proactive about slowing the progression of MS. And so, yeah, I feel like I had more to say and then I hit start on this video and it all kind of just shot out. And <laughs> so if anyone has any questions or anything, feel free to um, message me on Facebook or Instagram, send me a DM and I will be more than happy to talk more about it. Or um, if you relate in any way, I would love to hear your experiences, your stories. I love meeting new people, especially those who um, who share this, the, the same um, disability as I do. And yeah, um, that's kind of all I got. That was really fast. Um, but hopefully by next week, I will have a new training video for you guys. 
If not, then I'll just have a quick tips of things I've been doing, things that have been working well, and things that have not been working so well. So I hope you have a great day, guys. Keep on training and look after yourself. You, have, you are nothing without your health. Focus on your health before anything else. See you guys.